Hi guys, Ofori Wadiodu here. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, please do well to like and subscribe to this channel because I've got a lot to share. You might actually learn a thing or two from here. So guys, I'm prepared to go to bed, but before I do, I have some thoughts running in my head and some inspiration I'd like to share with you. So stay tuned. With respect to the 10th uh, national address by the president on COVID, Ghana is gradually easing restrictions in the hope of getting everything back to normal. But it's a process and a very long one that um, we all hope this comes to an end very soon. So let's quickly go over some of the updates. Religious services to commence with not more than 100 congregations. Monday, 15th June, final year students of JHS, SHS, and universities will resume school. Private burial of maximum number of 100. Weddings and other social gatherings can also be done with not more than 100 people. Other social gatherings such as sporting activities and political rallies, crusade and formal are still prohibited. And our borders are still closed to further notice. Enhanced personal hygiene and social distancing protocol. Now let's talk. Even though the lockdown was lifted in April, everything was never the same. Everybody was taking precautions. We are not ready to engage. We are not ready to go to town. And businesses were still closed. Even big organizations were still promoting telecommuting. Now this conversation stems from private conversations I had with some of my friends about how they are feeling unmotivated and a bit sluggish and let's be honest a lot of us felt the same at different points of this whole quarantine season how do we transition into full work mode while staying motivated highly motivated guys we really need to transition into action because get what we are in June. That's halfway into the year. And I plan to make this look out. I had a whole list of things I wanted to do in 2020. And I'm not giving that any time soon. This year is definitely going to count. Mm. So why can't we just take this year off? There are lots of years ahead. No. You can't take this year off. Okay? Because one. It's preparing you for the future. The future starts now. And this year comes. It's part of building your future. And so we are not letting this year slip away at no cost. Okay? This period has helped me to become a better learner, a better thinker, and a better researcher. And I feel more prepared and I plan to use this to my advantage. I don't know probably because now I'm into YouTube, I do a lot of research, but I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time now, right? The time we took off and we were at home, it helped me to plan better, think, and then put some ideas together. And while I look at this, me being able to start my YouTube definitely stemmed from the quarantine uh, period. So, how do I get myself to do things even though I'm not in the mood? How do I stay motivated and focused? It's a simple one. You need to start your day with a plan. Now more than ever, you need a schedule. So, you have to go back to the timetable and put our activities there and make sure that we stick to them. Two, do not overwhelm yourself with a lot of activities now. Let's start gradually, okay? You break your activities into small manageable tasks. You know, you start from somewhere, small, 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 and you build up. Three, 
give yourself a small reward for a, for being able to complete a task like maybe a 10 minute break or 30 minutes break or you can clean up time in your day for relaxation also you can indulge in fun activity things that you like to do or you have interest in so that it keeps the momentum but, but most importantly you should be able to identify the things that make you feel unmotivated and know how to deal with them individually if you are feeling a bit lazy it depends for me probably i can sleep on the right side of my bed i didn't wake up early or i didn't have enough sleep that can affect my productivity during the day so in this case probably you'd have to check your your sleeping time you have to pay attention to you would have to pay attention to your sleep another one is when you are feeling overwhelmed by the things you have to do in this case you can create a plan like i said you stick to a schedule but in all those guys you know this has like a psychological effect on you so do well to stay connected with people that you love and people that love you like friends and family very important if you are feeling down call a friend call a brother call a sister call your mother call anybody because in this time if you are feeling down just make a phone call someone you love to talk to let's talk about feeling energized and taking care of your well-being there are a lot of activities that people do to get this outcome. One, exercising. Two, taking breaks. Three, eating right. Four, staying on a regular sleep schedule. It's important. Five, staying connected with friends and family. Six, reaching out for help when it's necessary. Last but not the least, be okay with not being highly productive for now because we said we're going to start in small steps so you know you are building on it and gradually you get back into full force and so do not push yourself too much all right guys all too soon we've come to the end of another short video i hope you'll be able to take something out of this video do well to leave your comment or share your thoughts with me down in the comments below. Till we meet again, happy new month, I'm out.